gonna sink. Ready? Three, two, one. Okay, this should do it. All right, guys, welcome to today's video. Um, if you didn't know, I just recently published my first game. I just made a video about that, announcing it. Um, you can go download that in the link in the description. Um, but what I wanted to talk about today um, was just some tips and tricks um, as far as um, making your first game go, some of the things I've learned, some things that might help you um, as you make a game or maybe your first or just another game in general. All right, so the first tip I have is to use different kind of images, use different kind of file types um, to decrease the amount of storage that um, your game will have. Um, one easy thing to do is say JPEGs versus PNGs. Um, now, it can differ different times. Sometimes you need alpha for PNG, um, and sometimes a JPEG will be needed for other reasons. But um, most of the time, one file will be bigger than the other, and there's really not much of a difference when you compress them. Okay, two. So use the Blender's cleanup f um, function to clean up textures. When you bake something or you may um, UV unwrap something, it can be a little messy and you'll see jagged lines and areas. Um, it's really easy to go into the paint mode, the texture paint mode, and to soften those edges. It'll really help your model just to look a lot better and not as jaggedy and kind of clunky looking. One thing we need to do when we're making games is not to have too many polys. When you're in an art style, you have to make sure you're not using too many, especially with Blender Game Engine. Um, but one thing you can use, and this may be obvious to you, but is to use backface coloring. Now it's already used, um, and this is what happens, is it only shows one face, and when it turns around it's not showing. Um, and just delete all unnecessary polys that are behind walls or that you'll never see. Um, now this is a really small thing, but in the large scale of things, if you're making a big game, this can really help um, increase speed. So make um, an object the center um, origin where it needs to be. Now if you have a cube, Faultly, it'll be right in the middle. But if you go into edit mode, you can change um, the little point that you see on the screen. If you make that the very bottom, that will be your origin point. And it's much easier to scale things and get it into scale more accurately. Um, and the last tip I have is stay organized. This is one of the hardest things to do, especially when you're modeling and texturing and having all of these um, files everywhere. One thing like I like to do is you have your levels in one area, you have your models, you have your textures, and you're sort of going down. So if you find you have a model of something, you can click on that, you can go into the textures, find all the textures, you can find the normals and the regular bump maps or whatever you need and it'll all be there. Instead of having your normal somewhere else and your textures somewhere else, you can have them all in one place. Hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Um, I'll be hopefully making more soon since it's summertime and I have free time. Um, but thank you guys for all your comments. I'm going to be sure to be looking at some of them and hopefully making tutorials if I can figure out how to do them. So, alright, thanks for watching. Bye.